Welcome to the tavern. My name's Jay. Uh, you're. I, I I I fucked this up already. Sit down, have a seat. Whatever. My brain is just a uh, kerplop. Anyways, we're playing cards. Uh, come join, have fun, relax, grab a snack, a drink, and uh, let's let's get on with this. I'm still working on these openings, so uh, forgive me for that. But uh, I need to add some flair to uh, I need to add some flair to, to this channel. Anyways, what I have here is a uh, invoked charmers. It's pretty much Alistair the Invoker with the Charmers. It's going to be the uh, familiar possessed ones. Along, alongside uh, the, the familiars and two of the Awakenings. Essentially the entire deck is trying to like, turbo out some of these cards. If I can get this card out. This is the big card to get out. Along alongside of uh, awakening of possessed reason being if i get it out with this card right i immediately have a what is it um yeah a 5k beater on the field uh i might actually get rid of celine celine's still good don't get me wrong very good but realistically, I do want Dark the Dark Charmer more in, more for this deck. Again, Selena is great, but I'm not. That's not my entire combo. So that being said, let's get on with it. There's gonna be two duels, maybe. Let's see how long some of these duels last. And I will learn how to edit later. I'm not going to be worried about that right now. The games are kind of fast. And those are cards I forgot to put in the deck. I forgot to put in um, some actual board breakers. Well, we live and learn. Okay. How will this work out for me? I have the infinite impermanence, so I can disrupt one play. Let's see what that one play is. If we ever get there. Uh, Orc Dragon, what's this? Do with Alliance? Add one pen. Okay, so you're a pendulum deck. Great, good to know. How what do you what do you do at the pendulum? You have a magician card in your other pendulum you can add one you can add one from your extra deck to the hand. Okay, so it has to be from the extra deck. Specifically what you get. Pendulum called the far one card, add two, blah blah blah. Pendulum magician from Oh boy. It's a pendulum deck. It's gonna be a while. Pendulum Iris. Oh my god. And there goes the tuna. Okay. What do I do? What's a card that I hit with in, in perm? That's a, that'll be the question. So what what do you get? You got harmonizing magician, which is the tuner. Ah, okay, that was the other one. Okay. Ah, okay. And what's tuning magician? Okay. Hmm. 
Mm. Okay. You know what? I actually do this here. Because if you don't actually do because you're gonna be you're gonna want to secret summon a lot. I don't want you drawing cards. Might not been the might not have been the smartest play, but if you can't draw cards, you can't gain advantage. That'll be my thought process, right? Because you're going to go into a 9 regardless. You're going to special summon regardless. But you can only... Yeah, you can only go into like a, a what? A 10, an 8, and a 9. 8, 9, 10. Baron de Fleur. Usually how this happens. But you don't have an effect, so it's fine. Which means at this point, you have no other plays. At, at least I thought you didn't. Okay. So. Okay. That actually works out a lot in my favor. Okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, yes. So, I can get rid of that. We get rid of the Ran Wheel. Because I'm not going to need the Ran Wheel. You're not. You're going to negate with the Baron. No? You're not going to negate? Oh, buddy. Uh, let's get... Line of the Hand. Let's get Awakening of the Possessed on Field. Activate the Awakening of Possessed. I'm actually just waiting for him to negate. Because, like, example, he negates, then I'm doing Magical Meltdown. No? Okay. Uh, let's see. I can just summon Lina. Draw the card. There we go. Kind of wondering why he couldn't, why he wouldn't negate um earlier. Uh, actually, can I get away with this? I'm gonna do this right now, right? Kind of just get rid of that. Oh, but don't you don't you get a card? Oh no, you can target one face of card on the field, destroy it, which would be Lino. It's either Lionel or Magical Meltdown. Probably. Yep. Alright. That was the worst possible draw ever. Okay. Oh, and he could just do Baron. That's right. Baron, pop my card. Yep. Alright. Yeah, I lose. Alright. 
We don't have to go into this anymore. Probably could have done, done things differently. Yeah, I could have done things a lot differently because, like, I needed I needed my normal summon to for Alistair, but the top two draws were just not good. Eh, it is what it is, right? I probably should have negated. Um, actually, yeah, I, I, I was just stupid. Okay. This is actually a lot better, right? Magical Meltdown, at the Alistair hand. Normal summon Alistair. Get the invocation. Don't use it. Set to, cause I don't have, if I had, um, if I had, uh, what should we call it? Um, if I had a light in my hand, or if I had, um, Artemis the Moon Magistic in a extra deck. I could have gone into light and could have done a lot more. But this is fine as is, right? Um. Yeah, I don't have a choice. Really? Motherfucker. Okay. That's going to be a loss because what that's going to be, that that's actually going to turn into um just like an, an OTK. Yeah, it's going to turn into an OTK. I have nothing against it. The fact that he had a hey true made. Yeah, I should have just negated that. Should have negated it. Oh well. Hindsight, right? Honestly, the fact that I seen a hey true nade should have told me something. Literally should have told me something. Okay. Uh how can I work with this hand here? Uh let's see. Activate the magical meltdown. Ash Blossom. Okay. That works. Which means you're not stopping any of my other plays. Uh, let's get... Let's get dark. Oh, and look at that, I still got the invocation. Mm. Let's get that. Uh, what else could, what could we go into? Uh, can't go into Ash. Um... Hmm. No, I won't be able to do anything with that. I could do Earth. Uh, I could do Earth or Light, right? Yeah. We'll do Light. I could do the unpossessed, or I can do possessed partnership, which I will do the possessed partnership because it's easier. I have the invocation, I just don't have the Alistair, which is kind of bad, but I can always draw into it. Actually, I should not have activated that. 
That was actually stupid. Why? Okay, so the harping spell is just it. It's catching these these cards are catching me off guard, right? Oh my god, this is actually gonna get terrible. Okay. Go into a rank four. Let me see. This probably like something you can switch someone from your deck, but then get also it cannot be it, can, it cannot use a link material. Okay. So it's gonna get another level four, and then you're gonna get. Okay, go on to. Oh boy. It's gonna be one, one of those games. It's like. I'm never gonna get anything off. What do you do? And then you special summon yourself. I hate these decks. I, I hate waiting for like so long. Can't use it. That's good, but you know. Okay. Well, at least I got something, right? All right, so you got a, a rank up magic. What was it? Was it this one? No. Banish one or more. Then target one dark monster you control. Special summon from your so okay equal to the monster plus the monster you banish. Okay, so I think I know what what your plan is. I'm gonna try this because you're gonna use that to go into this. Really? No? Okay, cool. Uh, let's. I'll do throw, throw this over here. Can I not get the hmm. Let me see. You have Okay. Hmm. Oh boy. This is actually bad. Like, I keep drawing. I, I have less monsters than I do magic and trap cards, and I'm drawing the monsters. I'm not actually getting anything good. Okay, there goes another level, another rank four. I'm starting to hate decks like these.
Okay, so I'll get my monster. Doesn't get destroyed because I'm protected. So... There we go. There goes the rank of magic. Just give me an Alistair. That's all I need. How many are you going to banish? What? Okay, so you're going into, um, I think, Ultimate Falcon. Or whatever that is. Oh, I lose. Okay, fucking great. Attack again in a row? Yeah, I just fucking lose. That is stupid. It should not be able to, like... If you have that effect, you should not be able to, like, attack me directly. It says in a row. Which means it should be monsters. Oh, boy. What can I do with this deck? Gonna be stupid, but we're gonna add a kaiju. What kaiju? That one. Cause I don't need a harpy's feather duster. Cause no one, nobody plays uh, many back row decks. I'd rather get a. Uh, if I can draw the kaiju and draw the owl, then that'll be a lot better than uh, me having to the go through like the motions of what the fuck do I do all right cool uh I have an Alice of the Invoker which does nothing for me actually let's see if I even get this I do sweet okay Invocation. I could do Raijin or I can do a uh, Kal Kalaga. Yeah, we'll do Kalaga. Face of defense. And you attack and defense, right? Yeah, so I can actually defend you a little bit. Which means you can only do one monster effect. So right now I'm shutting down your a lot of your plays. All right, cool. Let's see how well this works out. Hita, uh, do I want to do another Alistair? That'd be the question, right? Do I do another Alistair the Invoker? Or do I do one of the Charmers? No, I actually do an Alistair. Actually, we can do this. So I could get this, but eh, let me see. What do you do? Okay. When this is special summon or something, I'd rather, uh, I, I'd rather like invoke uh, Ragin, like either Ragin or um, Trigatrio. Uh, 
You know what? We we do raid gym. We'll do Ragin because it's easier to do Ragin than it is to do a uh, Purgatrio. All right, I'll go for Purgatrio next. Now that I know you have the the obnoxious Celt, uh, Celtic Guardian, I'm actually gonna do. I'll do the Fergus Trio next, and just kind of like obliterate your your uh, your life. Because at this point, you can still only activate one monster effect at a time. We're not going through that shit. Sorry about that, buddy. I'm, my monster needs to be alive for a lot of this shit. Uh, let's see. Will that work? No, right? Are you still able to flip it? That, that'll be the question. Even if you could flip it, if you can't flip it, then it comes back to me and I don't have to worry too, too much. Seriously? Ah, oh, bitch. Well, I go into an earth monster. Uh, let's see. Wait, why? Oh, I not, not okay. I couldn't do Alice of the Invoker because I had done uh, Rage Gym. Okay. So now I can do the uh, Obnoxious Celtic Guard. Get that out of the way. Huh. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, what else could I do? I can't do the Pleiades, right? Okay, no, I need a fusion monster with uh, Alistair. Okay. Okay, so... What could I do? I could... Oh, I still could because it's a graveyard. Durr. Again, I could still I could do Purgatrio still and actually murder. I could just do um yeah, cause I uh, I don't need uh who do I not need? I don't need a uh, Caligula anymore. I'll get rid of the Raging right now. Mm. Get rid of that. can also just do that, get that out of the way now. Wait, 
when a, okay, you can special miss card from your hand, and if this card's defense is higher than the attack, destroy that a monster. Um. Continue the attack, destroy it. Hmm. Wait, you do what now? Um, oh, you know what? I'll do this. Kind of get rid of that. Give myself what, a thousand? Yeah. Keep myself about like 33. Yeah, I don't have a uh, what's his face anymore, but that's fine. Now, if you special summon, I destroy. If you try to reborn, I'm gonna call. And if that's another Celtic guard, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh look, another invocation. The fact that I actually hard drew an invocation. Okay. So because I don't have to worry about uh normal summoning no more. For now. Oh look, there goes an Alistair. Let's bring out. I can bring out Purgatory. I could also bring out. I'll bring out a uh, big boy here. Add that to my hand. All right. Uh, you have not okay, so you actually do have oh you have n I can't do anything with that. Okay, so Lord of D Could I activate both of these? Yeah, I could just activate both of these And how much life do you have left? 31? Yeah, and then we just game you right here. Yeah, I gotta work on this deck, like, a lot. There's, there's just so much with this deck that I gotta got work on. Actually add in, like, board breakers. Take out other, um... Probably take out, um... If I'm gonna be honest, the, uh... What what you call it? Um. Like, take out all the uh, familiars. Like for example, we could just take out this, this, and this. These three. That'll be six. We could just put into the deck. Let's see. I could put in like another dark. Uh, what was water? Uh, Kyoctus. Not really worth it. Um, again, we could just like slot in like one there, one there. These are just like, just slot in one of each. I, this is fine here. And then let's see, we can slot in say another, another Kaiju, probably a, uh, Radiant to go into um Caligula. Which I think would be yes. And I think that'll be it right here. Because realistically, 
my normal summon is being used on Alistair whenever I get the chance. But if I can set up, essentially charmers are like my first turn setup. If I if I don't get the Alistair, and I think I can, get, I can get rid of the Omega summons too. Actually, yeah, get rid of the Omega summons and we go for um. I want to say the, the nefarious Let's see. related cards, not that cards related to this. Yeah, add in like one of those and then that's not how you spell it. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. Adding two of those. If there was, again, I want a light and dark familiar. It will help. One, it would help the Charmer deck immensely. That'll be a video for another day. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Sorry if it was too long. Get used to it. I do like making longer form content because, for one, some of these duels, a one time only kind of play is, uh, not really helpful you just see what the deck does you don't really see like what the bad matchups are i like playing like two or three games i also like long form content that's just me though that being said thank you for uh, uh, thank you for joining get the fuck out come back again tomorrow see you all later